welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my tiny home. So I think today's video is one that has probably been long awaited for me just because I personally love watching videos like this. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, then you probably have gotten a little hint on the fact that I have a little, um, I don't know if I'd call it an obsession or like, I don't know, I just love office supplies. I love planning, I love journaling, I love stationery. Um, at one point in time, I used to have like a ton of pen pals and just doing paper art and paper craft is something that I've enjoyed for a really long time. And of course, with doing YouTube and Instagram as my job, I also need to have a desk space to be editing and working on projects and things like that. So if you guys have been subscribed to my channel, then you know that I really recently kind of redid this room and you can check that video out below. I will leave it linked there. Um, I tore out the bed that was in here and kind of made a new space for myself and then I made my desk over here and I've been kind of slowly collecting different things to organize my desk to get it to where I want it to be and I'm really excited to put it all together today and then at the end of everything I'll give you guys a little desk tour on all the things that I kind of keep on my desk little tools and tricks that help me be more productive in my job and my everyday tasks in case you haven't seen my home tour or the video I just mentioned, I just thought I would show you kind of the location of where my desk is. So here is our door. Here is um, just some counter space that's kind of a part of the kitchen over there. And then you come in here and this is my room area. And then this is where I've made my desk. And they are doing some work outside so just disregard all of that stuff out there right now. But I love having a desk by the window and um, it's just, ah, it's just the perfect workspace for me. So this chair is actually from Ikea. It's just on wheels. It's a pretty simple little chair. And then I did make the desktop myself and um, I love the size of it. I thought about doing something a little bit smaller but I'm not regretting the size and I just have a plant and this is actually from Big Lots sitting right there and then um, we're gonna get to work on how I'm gonna organize the rest of everything. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have a little uh, grid, wall grid, that I wanna put up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of the box. It's from Amazon and assemble it. I am so excited with how this looks. So I kind of meant this to be sort of my inspo board, that kind of thing, but obviously I can still use these little shelves and um, just put things up here that really inspire me. So I'm sure I'll be adding and collecting things for this area. Um, but one thing I did have to do because my walls are a little bit thinner than normal is I had to use a different screw than what came with this thing. So since I had to do that, I'm actually gonna take some white nail polish and just go over the heads of the screws so they blend in a little better.
Okay, so we obviously got the wall covered and now I'm going to be moving on to the desktop and what I'm putting on the desktop, the things I'm using to stay organized, and then we'll move to what goes underneath of my desk. But one of the most important things that goes on top of my desk is my Enton Power Strip. And I want to thank Enton for sponsoring this video. I've actually had a pretty good amount of time to test this out and use it on a daily basis. And oh my goodness, it is definitely a lifesaver especially for the shape of my space. Oddly enough, this saves a lot of space with it being round, and I'm gonna show you how I plug it in in the back. It delivers 18 watt power and has multiple ways to charge, which I really love. It even has an iPhone port, so I don't have to have my actual wall plug. I can plug the regular iPhone charger right into this, which is great because I'm a total Apple user. Because of its shape, I actually am able to use large plugs in it as well because they're spaced out so well which is definitely a problem that I have ran into a lot trying to plug in my devices is if you have the wrong shape of a power strip all of your devices can't be plugged in at once but no problem with this because it's so slim it can fit behind things it does have a wall mount on the back and it comes with sticky adhesives so if you want to stick this to the bottom of your desk or to the wall wherever you want to put it it will work out great. Like I said, it does have an iPhone charger, but it also has a USB port and non-slip pads on the back. And if you're someone that travels for work, since it's so compact, it's great and easy to throw in. It does have that little cord, um clasp that keeps everything together so you can wrap it right up throw it in your briefcase into whatever you're traveling with and you don't have to worry about finding enough outlets to plug in all of your devices two other features that are really awesome is it's made out of a fire retardant material and the plug is more of a flat plug so that you can slip it in behind furniture or anything like that and still be able to plug it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I've been using this. Like I said, it's been a lifesaver with all of my devices and charging camera batteries and plugging in my computer and I don't have to worry if our power is disconnected somehow living here in a tiny home that um, my devices will be safe with this. So what I do is I actually stretch it out as much as I need and then I just keep the rest of the cord all coiled up in this little thing but back here is where my outlet is and so it is a little bit of a longer space and I love the fact that it has this cord that is long enough to reach probably anywhere you really need it to before I pull the computer back to its position and you can't see this anymore. This is for my oil diffuser, which I'll show you in a second. This is my computer. This is my battery charger for my camera batteries. And this is my iPhone charger. And then this charges my iPad. Okay, so in a tiny space, you always want to use up every spare inch that you have. 
So I was looking for something that would work great underneath of here and I found this little cart on Amazon. I put it together the other day and it was super simple to put together and it's really lightweight. It's on wheels, which is helpful. It also comes with a handle too, but um, it would have never fit underneath of here. So basically all I have to do is push it under here and it sits right down underneath of there totally out of the way and i'm hoping that it can house a lot of the things that i have that i want to put in it the other thing too is it actually gives me another writing space so if i wanted you know some extra space to have a piece of paper or drink or something like that it would work out well and then this part on the top lifts off and you have almost like a drawer space on the inside so lots and lots of storage plus it comes with a few accessories which i'll be using also these just hook on the side they're like little buckets i thought it would be cute to even get a plant or something to stick inside of one of those and then it also comes comes with these little hooks and I was thinking of some different ideas. I don't really have anything today to really hang on these, at least I don't think so. Um, we'll see as I organize the cart, but um, they are really handy for just whatever else. you how excited I am with how all this turned out I just oh it just satisfies me so much to put together things and get them organized so I think I'm gonna start from the top and then we'll work our way down all right so I have my wire um, board up here and I love how I can move these shelves around that will be so great and it did come with the clips as well and I just put up a couple pieces of cardstock that kind of inspired me I probably will print off like quotes and stuff like that to go up here too and then this is my budget planner and then that's my mini planner that sometimes I grab and take with me places and stuff like that I just thought it was a nice little spot to put those up there and um, I just have some faux plants up here and I find a lot of my little stuff at the Target dollar spot 
Then down here obviously is my computer and I am a drink queen. I constantly have drinks with me. Um, they're just sitting out on the counter right now. Because this thing does not have very many um, top coats on it, I need to put some more on it. I just haven't. Um, I do use these little coasters that my mom gave me and they're just super handy so I keep them right under here. Um, you guys saw the plug configuration and all of that back there. Then this little tray I actually got off of Amazon a while ago and I love it. It's kind of a random thing that sometimes it's hard to find whenever you have a specific need and this computer has that so having a little tray that kind of is a catch-all so I have like hand lotion and my Blistex chapstick and a hair tie and then some quick um, sticky notes in case I need to make a quick note while I'm working and then I just put a little candle here and then these honestly are more here for decor purposes and just look really nice <laughs> um, but these are like some neon colored pencils and then just some regular pens and then in here I have all of my essential oils that I am using a lot in my diffuser which is right over here and I get questions a lot about this little stand because it does have feet on it I don't know if you can see that or not and it was thrifted so I don't I can't tell you where it's from it did have a glass bowl on top of it um, and I just use it as a stand for my diffuser and this diffuser is so great it pumps out a lot um, and it really makes everything smell really good in here whenever I'm using it this little bucket I think I showed you guys in a vlog not that long ago I thought I was gonna use it in my car but then I had a problem plugging in my charger in the car and I can't keep it out there but it works perfect for like my everyday lotion and a little room spray so this is my iPad which I use every day and my phone and then in here this little case is actually from the Dollar Tree but I have my blue light glasses which I try to use a lot since I'm on screen time so much and then in this little guy I think this was from Michaels at one point in time I actually have a little microfiber cloth that I clean my screens and stuff with so this and this and these things all kind of float between my backpack purse and my desktop so um if they're not always sitting here but it's just something that rotates between the two of them so under here i not only have my cart but i also have these little guys that are actually in an opening that does go into that other cabinet which you guys saw me organize that in my last organizing video um and i told you that in the video where i do my desk i would show you what's in those because they're more they're desk related not a part of the kitchen stuff i love the fact that this has a hard top on it because then i can scoot it out to where my couch is as well if i want to set something on it or use it as a side table i've got some sticky notes i like to take notes and make lists a lot <laughs> this is my extra external hard drive um, that I put extra things on whenever my computer runs out of space and then these guys here are actually my little like gym in my pocket um, in my last organizing video I showed you where I keep my workout mat but these are actually the bands that I use to work out which works out really good in a small space if you guys have never tried that out I highly recommend it there's so many free workouts here on YouTube um, using those bands and you can get those on Amazon. Um, I have an extra camera card in here. This is a piece for, I think, one of my lights or a tripod. And then these are both uh, phone holders for my tripods. In here, I've got whiteout, which again, is something I use literally all the time. This is my glue that I use um, just to put things in my planner. And then I do have a glue stick in here, a pair of scissors, and a foldable ruler. Here on the end, I got some free space, but I just threw those little hooks in there. Okay, so moving down to the next level, I have a specific brand that I like to use of their stickers, so they all fit in here, and those are just all planner stickers. On this side is more planner stickers, and then this is some inserts for the style of planner I use, and a little, like, quote thingy that I like a lot. Um, these are, like, my normal writing pens, and then also some calligraphy pens are in here as well, and then all of this stuff right here is actually for, like, when I take notes in my Bible, so these are Bible highlighters. These are fine tip pens that won't bleed through my Bible and then a little ruler for my Bible. Turning to this side and I actually have some other smaller containers that I can stack in here too. I just didn't really have a need for them today. So this is more um, colorful pens like the ones I use a lot. Um, the other kind are just black and these are the colorful ones. Some washi tape. These are extra discs 
that help to bind together the notebooks and the planners that I use. You can get all kinds of colors. These are just extra ones I have. And then down here is refill for the glue that I use a lot. And then this thing here, if you guys know anything about the planners that I use, and if you have more questions about it, you can totally DM me on Instagram. But um, it's a punch that I can add any kind of page to the planner or the notebook because um, it's just all the same system. So it's kind of big and it just sets in there really great. Then down here on the bottom, I decided to go ahead and put this crate just to help kind of compact everything and get as much out of the space as possible. So I'm going to try to show you without it being too um, weird since it's such a tight little space. So this is my Bible with all of my Bible tabs. This is a really great book if you guys are into um, inspirational books. This is a good one. It's called Fervent. This is also another really good book that I use a lot. It's called Secrets of the Secret Place. And then this little book has been a recent find that I think is so great. I'm super big on self-care and this book um, is just all about inspiring you for self-care and it gives me really good ideas. I actually really like to plan out my self-care throughout the week. Little things that I'm going to do for myself to recharge. So whenever I'm stuck or I want a new idea, this book really Really helps me out. All right, so here on the end, um, I don't use these a whole, whole lot, and that's kind of why they're sitting here on the end. Plus, I love the color of this and the color of the discs. So this is actually my recipe book that I write down my recipes. Um, so a lot of the things you see on my cooking channel are in here. And then this little notebook is a book that I take notes in specifically for a certain book. Um, I'm not going to go into detail, but it holds notes on like one specific subject. So that's why I keep it and it's there. And then um, over here, <laughs> like I said, this is all a little stacked in. I'm going to take these off so I can show you a little easier. So this is my main planner and um it just has everything in it it also has my journal in it as well so the back is my journal and the front part of it is my planner these two books one of them this one here is an inspiration journal and then this one is my faith planner so like i said i'm a little into this and not it's not for everybody but it's definitely something that helps me relax and is kind of good for my self-care and downtime i hope it's not too dark under here <laughs> um so this bottom bin this is a huge pack of cardstock paper that is the right weight for the paper that goes into my planners and stuff so if I want to print out like a new layout or something like that I can do that with that paper this is just regular cardstock in some shades that I really like um, just to use for making whatever I want to make out of paper then these are just extra covers for my um, planners and notebooks um, because you can exchange them out this here is sticker paper that works to to, um, print my own stickers and then this pile of paper is just an, this is an extra piece of cardstock but the rest of this is called vellum paper which is kind of means you can see through it a little bit and it works great to make little pockets and stuff like that in my planner so that's what I store in that bottom one then in the top one up here um, I'm just gonna pull it down super quick it actually has my label printer which this also can print stickers and then little cartridges to refill for that and you guys have seen that before in my organizing videos. Leave a comment below and tell me what your favorite part of this little organization video was. And if you're new here, of course, subscribe. I'd love if you joined my channel. This is my home channel. I have a vlog channel and a cooking channel as well. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.